Sorry, rolling boats. Today we're getting a uh, base map, or not base map, a base dyno for the Audi. Because I'm still not sure whether it's mapped or not. It doesn't feel stock, but then again, it, it's just a different power band to the Subaru. So, a lovely, lovely, gorgeous day. Uh, we're the only ones here, because I think Charlie forgot he ripped us in. But yeah, we're the only ones here today. So we kind of got a, a free dyno session <laughs> on our own. But yeah, let's uh, stick the uh, Audi on the rolling mode and see what it makes. Well, that is uh, very interesting. Um, for some reason, look at that, 309 horsepower um, for a car that I bought, which was meant to be completely standard. Uh, Charlie said, map isn't the greatest. I don't know who mapped it, it's probably just a ch shitty eBay laptop tune. But yeah, it's boosting at about 3,000, three and a half, which is the reason why uh, you get that little fluctuation that I didn't really need to change the ignition coils because they were all right, I suppose. Just there, when it comes down and then starts to go back up again. Which is the reason why it's doing that, it's over boosting, so we kind of need to get that sorted out, because it's not great. But yeah, that is, uh, that is very interesting. And you can see where it spikes there, where it is over boosting, when it goes to 370 foot-pounds of torque, which is way too much to have this car with a stock intake and everything like that. But yeah, that is, um, that is an eventful evening. Now we are back from uh, our little dyno session. I'm very pleased with uh, what came out. Let's talk about these uh, graph results in a bit more controlled environment. So you can see, let me get my knee up there. You can see here, uh, 3500 3, RPM. We are making 260 foot pound of torque. But you can see this little dip here is when we got our boost spike because the, the map that's on this car isn't the greatest is what, um, Charlie was saying that sorry um, basically it's, it looks like it's just a laptop load onto the ECU it's not the greatest map we've got a big old spike of torque here uh, he said that German cars are really funny and you can't tap into the turbo so he couldn't tell me what PSI we're running but I can look on my app that I've got for the OBD reader and find out what, what PSI the boost is making but you can see it talks and it peaks at 375 foot pound of torque, so there's a 360 and it's above that line, two bits above that line. So you can see it peaks there at 375 foot pound of torque, which considering standard these cars should make 260 foot pound of torque is a lot. Um, yeah. even, even for stage one, it shouldn't really make 375 foot pound of torque, but we are. And you can see it's a lovely line here. Obviously that's where it peaks, comes back down and then the be, uh, the horsepower continues going up right up to 6500 rpm where we're making 309 just under 310 horsepower at 6500 rpm so the turbo is doing its job it's a big turbo ko4 which can hold a lot of power and make about 400 bhp before it even gets to pushing the amount it, it can physically push i'm very happy with these results consider when I bought the car, it was meant to be standard. It had standard airbox, standard exhaust. It was standard everything, as far as I was aware. But it never felt standard. And uh, this is obviously the reason why it never felt standard. First car I've ever had that's been over 300 horsepower. Uh, Subaru. Both the Subarus I had were 270. And yeah, this is why this car feels incredibly quick. Even as out of the box, these are quick. But I'm more than happy with what we're sitting at right now obviously we need we do need to get a proper map loaded onto it because this torque spike is very bad and i don't even know what psi it's making but he said it's hitting boost cut 
at 3500 rpm which is why the torque considerably drops off so this line should theoretically go over here level out and then be a nice smooth torque curve not spike but we're looking to get in a, a proper map on this car but yeah i'm happy with the results they're pretty decent and uh yeah i hope you did like this little video uh please remember to like subscribe and i shall see you on the next one adios